I admit it, I'm in love, and I'm in love with the Hi-Fi Man Aria Planar headphones. Now, as a disclaimer, this was sent to me at no cost from Hi-Fi Man. However, all opinions are my own, and no one's reviewed this video prior to posting. So when you're looking to spend $1,600, $2,000 on a set of headphones, you're really getting into some high-end territory. So what do the Hi-Fi Man Planar headphones bring to the table? Okay, these are big headphones. Never found them to be heavy, uh, even vaguely uncomfortable after using them for hours. What's interesting is the uh, window shade system, and that does two things essentially. One, it protects the drivers, and secondly, it optimizes the open back uh, design. So you either love the look or not, but they do the job nicely. Now, as far as build quality goes, the Aria's use a combination of metal and high quality lightweight plastics. So there's a lot of detail given to the design of the Aria's and the use case for these headphones. The metal headband gives the headphones really some extra strength while the use of lightweight plastics helps keep the weight down for these headphones. Let's talk about the ear cups on these headphones. These are asymmetrical ear cups, so they're designed to follow the natural shape of your ears. And one thing that never happened to me after two, three hours or more of a listening session is that the ear cups never felt hot. The soft padding on the ear cups kept things really nice and cool and comfortable. Now, as far as looks are concerned, the Aria's with their egg shape, they're all black exterior. You get a glossy headband. It makes them a very attractive set of headphones that look and feel premium. Included with the Aria's is a braided crystalline copper cable with a 6.35 millimeter plug, as well as a 3.5 millimeter plug. Let's talk about some of the important specs of the Aria's. Rated at 32 ohms, 94 dB sensitivity, frequency response of 8 hertz to 65 kilohertz, they weigh about 404 grams or 14.03 ounces. Nice and lightweight, but they, they do look like they would be a bit heavier. Now let's talk about the equipment I paired these with. First off was my Pioneer SXD7000 vintage receiver. Then my reference, which uh, integrated amplifier, which uh, is the NAD 316BV2. And also the Shit Magni 3 headphone amplifier. The Pioneer SXD7000, I think, paired the best with these headphones, mainly because I think it gives just a slightly warmer overall tone to it, where the NAD seemed to be a bit more neutral. The Magni tended, I think, to accent the lows and the mid-range just slightly more than the uh, SXD7000. But those are the uh, amplifiers that I used when auditioning the Aria Planar headphones. Now, as far as music is concerned, uh, the first album I auditioned was Dire Straits Brothers in Arms, their LP. And the song's so far away from me that the drums seem to be playing in the middle of my head. And let's just say that Money for Nothing uh, played so well, the, the imaging was just totally on point on that track. Now, the next album I listened to was Carol King's Tapestry, and the track I Feel the Earth Move was just a bit bass heavy, but not muddy at all. It was nice and punchy. The, the piano was very well pronounced with these headphones, and I felt that the, the midtones were very rich, and I heard no sibilance in the high end in the, in the treble. So it's just a perfect audition with these headphones. Another LP that I auditioned was Foreigner's self-titled album, Foreigner, and the track Cold as Ice was utterly fantastic listening with these headphones. The synthesizer sounded amazing on there. The guitar sounded just out of this world, crazy good. Um, some of the best sounds I've ever heard out of either floor standards or headphones came from the Arias. Let's just say that the imaging of these headphones really, truly impressed me. Uh, these are headphones designed for this serious audiophile. They'll work fantastic for anybody, but if you're really listening carefully, critically, these are going to be a great pair of headphones for you. Probably the, one of the best deals going in that under $2,000 price range. 
The bass is deep, it never felt muddy or distorted in any way. I mean, it, these go down to eight hertz. Treble was pleasing without any distortion or sibilance. Just a, a you, you can listen to these for hours without feeling any kind of fatigue. It is literally impossible to find any flaws in probably the best value in under $2,000 headphones on the market. So that's it. That's my review of the Hi-Fi Man Aria Planar headphones. Check them out yourselves. I've got more information in the links down below. Bruce Naylor, your boomer consumer. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.